Hello everyone, my name is Teacher John, and this is Learning English, and together we'll get things done, because English is so much fun! Welcome to the third video for the lesson Active and Passive Voices. Before we commence, let us have a quick test to check if you still recall the content of the previous lesson. Change the sentences from active to passive form. Sentence number one. The science class viewed a comet. The answer is... The comet was viewed by the science class. The homeowners remodeled the house to help it sell. The answer is... The house was remodeled by the homeowners to help it sell. The teacher always answers the students' questions. The answer is, the students' questions are always answered by the teacher. Tom painted the entire house. The answer is, the entire house was painted by Tom. Take your bags from the locker. The answer is, your bags will be taken from the locker. Because passive voice sentences necessarily add words and change the normal doer action receiver of the action direction, they may make the reader work harder to understand the intended meaning. As these examples illustrate, a sentence in active voice flows more smoothly and is easier to understand than the same sentence in passive voice. It is generally preferable to use the active voice. To change a passive voice sentence into an active voice sentence, simply reverse all the steps. Step number one. Move the passive sentence's subject into the active sentence's direct object slot. Step 2. Remove the auxiliary verb be from the main verb and change the main verb's form if needed. Step 3. Place the passive sentence's object of the preposition by into the subject slot. It's as easy as that. The passive voice may be a better choice, however, when A. The doer of the action is unknown, unwanted, or unneeded in the sentence. B. The writer wishes to emphasize the action of the sentence rather than the doer of the action. And C. The writer wishes to use passive voice for sentence variety. Here, the doer of the action is unknown, unwanted, or unneeded in the sentence. Here, the writer wishes to emphasize the action of the sentence rather than the doer of the action. Here are more examples for you. Now, I want you to change the following sentences from passive to active. I'll give you 5 minutes to do this. 5 minutes starts now.
Here are the answers. Hope you learned a lot. This has been Teacher John. And remember, English is so much fun. Bye!